Alright, what's up guys? New day here. Last night you saw we got the uh, the Previa running. We got the test brakes out a little bit. Um, I painted those little side... I still don't know what to call those. Little fabric pieces, I guess. It should be 100% dry by now. Let's see. Yeah, I think they're looking pretty good. So, I'm going to put these on. Alright, so I'm going to be using this stuff. It's just a random uh, Elmer spray adhesive I found. Um, ideally, there's some stuff called Super, I want to call it like Super 99 or something like that. Super 77, I think, is another one, but it's a 3M makes it. I would probably use that instead, but this is all we got right now, so I'm just going to go with this one and hopefully it'll work. The adhesive was working that great, but I think it did the job enough. What a difference, wow. Compared to what they looked like before, really happy with that. Literally that can was maybe like five bucks or something. It makes all the difference. I don't know why this one wasn't fitting right, so it didn't really tuck in on that side, but all the other sides work good. Let's go around to the other side. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. I think it looks, it looks like a brand new whatever. <laughs> really it's just painted old fabric side things. Another little update, sticker window is growing. Eventually I want to cover this entire window as well. And then on the rear, we got a couple more slaps. Most of these are just actually off the Cressida. This one wasn't really sticking, but we just threw that over the rust for fun. Um, yeah, most of these, Tim took them off the Cressida and gave them back to me. And uh, I'm kind of the king of used stickers. These are off. I just grabbed these two off my friend's old Miata soft top. Shout out Nate. A um, couple of these I just cut inside, I have my vinyl cutter, but most of these, like this has been on maybe like three or four cars, um, this has been on a ton of cars, yeah a bunch of these stickers are, are used, but they usually stick maybe like six or seven times till they, uh, they really start peeling off, but another thing we did, um, when I was went to install the shifter here, I actually cracked the heck out of this thing, so took like some, oh, what was it called? liquid nails I want to say. And I just went all over that. It's kind of like a plastic uh, bonder type thing. Almost like a JB weld. But uh, yeah, we fixed these. So hopefully I can throw this back on because the exposed whatever steering wheel column doesn't look too great. But yeah, actually from this side, like, I mean you can tell when it's in the sun obviously, but it doesn't look terrible for being in pieces earlier. I think it's still pretty filthy. like. All these cubbies are just filled with random uh, dirt and debris. So we gotta give this car a real good cleaning. Especially back here, with all that mud. This thing's gonna get quite the cleaning pretty soon. All right, I'm about to work some magic on the steering column. Bang. How to hide cracks? Just use bandanas.
wheels. What kind of wheels are these? There's some uh, GTST Skyline wheels. Skyline wheels on the Previa. Then I got Blizzax on the waveform. Oh, nice. Yeah, just a lot of money spent on the tires. Do I recognize these? I recognize these. Are you trying to put them on the Previa? Put those? Yeah. I don't even know what they look like. Let's see what they look like. I don't think they'd really blend in good. <laughs> Dude, they're sick! Is that even where the wheel is though? Yeah. A little bit. It blocks towards the edge, that's all you need. Yeah. I don't know. Ty has no idea what these are. I don't know what they are either. So he's got two 32 wheels here, and then he's got two random wheels. They're definitely some rare works. These things stink, dude. Like they actually have a smell. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of do. The tires that are, that are on them aren't terrible. Shout, oh, shout out to Ty right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got screwed. Good one. <laughs> oh, I still have the the wheel caps for it too. Yeah, dude, I was reading the wheel cap. I don't get it. Like they look sick. We like... produce we produce with Spartan air. <laughs> what? It's probably like translate to some kind of like saying or whatever. Some sort of special air, dude. Those are actually kind of cool mesh wheels though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean they're pretty neat. Yeah, I, I totally say 32 wheels up front. I don't know. No, it just looks better like that. Oh, true. Welcome to Pure Michigan. Yikes. <laughs> starts wagging as you get closer. Stripey yours is green. 
guys. We driving. Yo, I got the same van. Oh, I just kind of realized I don't have a license plate on right now. Should be fine. We're just going up the street a little bit. I'll lose my mind at least another thousand times. Oh, my hands are full of in another night. I still get a little scared of something new, but I feel a little safer when I'm with you. Falling doesn't feel so bad, but I know you're falling this way too. Guys, well, Tim just left. Previ is all in the driveway. Um, I guess now I should probably update you a little bit on a little bit of stuff. So basically, the whole reason this car was down in the first place was that it needed a brake line, which is the reason why Tim was able to get it so cheap. And so we fixed the brake line, and then what ended up happening happening is the uh, one of the fittings up here was stripped out. So then we had to get like a brake T, a three-way brake T. Then we ran lines and then we bled the system and then all of a sudden the rear load uh, proportioning valve uh, just lost pressure and started puking everywhere. So I had to replace that except couldn't find that part anywhere. So we ended up using a brake tee for that. So we had to run those two lines and then went to bleed the brakes again. And then the other brake line over here blew out. So uh, replace that line. So literally just about every line except for this driver's side caliper one and then the rear drum brake line or we had to replace so that's why it took so long but basically it's been the been down for about a week um, and I've been out here some days Tim's been coming over to help but it's been like the weather here has been pretty bad it's been like snowy rainy freezing the rain stuff like that but today we finally got some some decent Sun so things should be all back up and running now the pedal is a little bit spongy still so I might have to bleed the brakes one more time but for now it's still drivable, so that's sweet. So yeah, we got all that fixed, then while well, the car was down, a couple things were fixed, like I showed you guys these little, I still don't know what to call these, cloth side, whatever, door trim things. And then I got this on with the bandanas. And then, oh yeah, we got, just got this roof box on. So we got both cars matching roof boxes now, and then, yeah, just been tidying a couple things up on this thing. I got some new headlights I'm about to throw in uh, on the next episode. I've still been daily driving this thing. Uh, we had a little bit of snow the other day and this thing made it through, so that was good. Really want to put this away for the winter though pretty soon because still got the Federal 595s up front and they are not the best in the snow, so. My rear setup is just some spare winter, uh, winter tires I was gonna burn off at a drift event and just never got around to doing so, so. But yeah, this thing's been great. Still driving it, which is actually kind of nice because this thing is so fun to drive. Literally makes makes the day so much better. And hopefully this thing will be fun to drive too. But yeah, in terms of other channel updates, the, let's see, it was two days ago. Uh, I actually went to the Beach Bunny concert. I don't know if you guys know uh, her music or not, but it's been on this channel a lot. It's probably my favorite band right now. And uh, shout out to Jacob and Kurt who uh, met me there and uh, they're they watch the channel so that's cool shout out I'll put their Instagrams up right now but yeah that that was uh, my first ever concert and it was like it was incredible so thanks to those guys it's nice meeting you guys and uh, we'll definitely have to have them in some videos in the future um, what else do we do you guys earlier but my sticker collection is growing I really want to cover this entire thing but yeah, if you couldn't tell, I, I kind of like stickers, both of my cars. Stickers. I also forgot to say, you guys saw us swapping these wheels. Tim got his new wheels, and so I'm buying these ones from him. 
These are just the stock wheels, but I kind of like the look of them. The hubcaps look nice, and uh, they got like brand new all seasons on them, so I don't got a whole lot of money right now, so that'll be nice to at least have something I can drive on in the future. Maybe this summer I'll be getting like some baller hot boy wheels or something. Also take a look at that, that sweet dash sticker. I don't know how you guys feel about dash stickers, but I kind of like it. It doesn't get in the way at all, but up garage, baby. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna end this one here before I keep rambling on. So thanks for watching and uh, sub for more Previa content, more Miata content, and more Turbo Cressida content coming in the near future. Thanks guys, see ya.